Hello, hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel! Hope you all are having beautiful summer and having amazing time with your friends and family. So it's been a while that I did my last gold jewelry video and you guys have given so much love to that video. Thank you so much, it means a lot. And I've got so many requests from you all to cover the other gold jewelry pieces as well. But I was traveling earlier this year and I kept all my jewelry pieces in the security deposit in the bank. And I finally got a chance to take it out from the security deposit and show you all my other pieces. If you're new to my channel and you haven't seen the previous video where I covered my gold earring collection, I will leave the link in the description down below and you can definitely check it out. I love collecting gold jewelry guys, especially the ones that I can wear every day. If you're following me through my vlogging channel, you must have seen me wearing these gold jewelry pieces and styling them every day. Like I've worn it in my office, college time, on vacations, weddings, cocktail parties and many more events. So yeah, let's get started. Let me show you one by one. So in today's video, I will be covering all my chains and few pendants as well. And I will also show you one new earring piece that I got it from India this year. Let's start. Let me show you the first one. So this first one is like one of my favorite. I personally designed this chain. I will tell you the backstory as well. I've got so many messages regarding that chain. So many of you who have been following me on Instagram message me to send me the picture of this particular chain. And I've personally sent you guys the screenshot as well. This chain is almost six years old and I'm still not over yet. So let me show you. Here is this chain. This is the gold beaded chain that I almost wear every single day, guys. Let me quickly wear this. So this is how it looks. I'll tell you the backstory how I designed this chain. So back in 2017, I was following an influencer who I absolutely love. And she was wearing this beautiful beaded pearl chain. And I was like, oh my God, it looks so pretty. I love this design. And I remember she posted a story and I quickly took a screenshot and I sent the screenshot right away to my mom. And I asked her that, can you get it customized for me? But I want few changes. So what I did was the one that I saw had pearls instead of these gold beads. I customized it and I asked the jeweler to add gold beads instead of the pearls and to shorten the length of the chain. Also, I asked him to make the chain a little thick because the one that I saw was very thin. I wanted a little thick chain, but shorter. And the jeweler made it exactly what I imagined. It snugs my neck because I wanted something short that snugs my neck. And I wanted these gold beads to match my dangling Sui Dhaga signature earring. So it turned out perfect. This is one of my favorite. And this chain is not that heavy. Uh, this is only for six grams, that's it. So anyway, this is my signature chain. Now guys, I wear this like almost every time every time because it's so comfortable it just goes with everything it goes with my other jewelry pieces and i will show you a way where i make this chain a little longer with another chain and how to do that i will tell you at the end of this video so stay tuned do watch this video till the end so the next chain is super special to me let me show you it is this chain. This is one of my very first gold chains and this is super special because this was gifted by my husband who was my boyfriend back then and why it's so special was because he got his first job right after graduation and I remember he used to get uh, around 20,000 rupees and he saved from his salary. He, he bought a car, he used to pay for his car's EMIs and he used to pay for his own gas. He used to live with his parents back in India and he saved it from his salary and bought me this chain for my 22nd birthday, I remember. And it was for 35,000 rupees back then. It was super special to me when he gifted me this. I was not expecting this big of a gift because it was not easy back then because he was only making not that much and he still saved and gifted me this. So that's why this one is super special. Let me show you how it looks. It's a bit long than the previous one and I've just added a pendant. 
I keep on changing my pendants with my chains. Right now I have this one on. So this is how it looks. These pieces are like timeless pieces. It can make any outfit look super stunning. I love to stack my chains as well. This is my usual combo. I wear the short one and then the medium length one. And it's perfect for me for my everyday accessories. Right. Let me take this out. So the next one is a long one. My mom gifted this one. I got it from India. This one is super long and I can just wear it like this. This is also an everyday piece, guys. Evergreen. I just change the pendants or I'll stack it up with the small chain. Just like this. That's how it looks. What do you guys think? All right, now let's wear the other one. Here is the fourth chain. This one is a shorter one and it's a bit sleek. It's not that thick and it's super light. This is another recent addition in my collection. This one is also another special one. It was gifted by my brother on Rocky. It's a brother-sister event that we celebrate every year. So he gifted me on that occasion and I bought a pendant with it. By the way, all these chains, all these jewelry pieces are 22 karat gold. I've been wearing these pieces on everyday occasion. The polish and everything is great when you wear 22 karat. The gold doesn't look dull like 14 karat. Sometimes you want a very sleek piece. This one also, I wear it like this with my beaded chain. Looks lovely. And even without the beaded chain by itself, this one looks so sleek and chic. Just by itself, it looks so pretty. See? And I love this new K pendant. This is also 22 karat gold. Okay, so this one was the fourth one. Now let's move on to the fifth one. Here's this beautiful chain. So this is the link chain. Check this out. This is another one of my favorite chains. It looks so rich. I originally bought this chain for my husband. I was going to gift him on our wedding, but then I wore it. I was like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. I want to wear this one. And I showed him and he's like, it's okay. If you like it, you can keep it. Don't worry, I don't want it. And I was like, are you sure? Are you sure? Because it is so beautiful. This is one of my heavy chain. And I think it's almost 30, 30 grams. But yeah, it's for guys and I wear it all the time. <laughs> Every time I wear this chain, it makes my entire look so rich. I absolutely love this one. I remember when I was buying this one, um, I was thinking ah, whether I should get this or not, or I should buy some luxury item. But then I thought, no, 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 let's just buy gold. It will stay with me for long. When I bought this one, I got promoted at my workplace and I was like, oh my God, okay, I will save a little bit and then I will buy this one for my husband. And finally, when I saved the money, I got this one and it's beautiful. The worth has gone up for sure. It's a total value for money. Let's move on to the last piece. 
Here is the last piece. So this one is not mine. It's my husband's chain, but I love it. It's so light. It's lighter than the one that I showed you before. That one is a bit shiny. This one is a bit dull and lightweight, and it has a different design as well. This is also from men's collection, but I love to style this one as well. I personally love the chain designs that uh, Indian jewelry shops have in men's collections. Such designs, I can wear it with my Western outfits. Like it looks beautiful with dresses, with top, with blouse. This is how it looks with the close up. This one is a bit lighter. Like I said, it's only for, for 15 grams bit light but I love to wear this one super cute So guys, these were all my gold chains collection. And now I'm gonna show you my small little pendants that I keep on collecting from time to time. Let me show you the first one. So this is a tiny pendant that has a pearl in it and it's in the shape of star. I love wearing these with white colored outfits. So cute. The second one is the Khanda. This is a religious symbol. It's such a perfect size. It's not too small, it's not too big, and it's pretty heavy. This one is almost six grams. The same as my beaded chain, but I love how heavy and chunky it is. And at the same time, it's just beautifully designed. Let me show you the third one. So this is the third pendant. It's like a sleek coin. Look how sleek is this? And it has a moon and little stars engraved in it. Pure 22 karat gold. This one also, I gave the design to my mother-in-law. I saw something similar online and I sent it to my mother-in-law that, hey, can we please get this made? I love collecting these small items because I can just enjoy such small pieces during my day-to-day -day life. So let me show you the fourth one. So here is the fourth pendant. Look how cute it is. It's such cute sun face. This one was also customized. I got it made in India. Tiny one. I literally enjoy my small little pieces every day. Let me show you how it looks with this long chain. Check this out. Super cute, what do you guys think? And let me show you how it looks when I stack it up my long chain with my short chain. I'll wear this sleek chain. 
So basically, I just love just playing around with the different length of my chains and mixing them together like this. The last small pendant that I have in my collection is also a recent addition. It's this letter K. I absolutely love this one as well because of its font. It's not as tiny, but it looks so cute and small. And it's made so perfect. Like, check out the finishing. It's really pretty. And it looks absolutely beautiful with my sleek chain. Actually, I can only wear it with this sleek chain because the hoop is really tiny. And only my sleek chain passed through this hoop. But anyway, it looks beautiful. See, check this out. And if you're wondering where I got this one from, I got it from Canada, from Pile Business Center. There's one jewelry shop called Bharat Jewelers. So I got it from there. And I only paid $200 for this one. Great jewelry investment, love it. All right, so these were my small pendant collection, guys. And now I'm gonna show you how I make my beaded chain long with my other chain. So this is my beaded chain. It's not that long, it snugs to my neck. So I'm gonna take this beaded chain and then the other chain, open the loop. Okay, open the loop of the other one as well. All right, so I have these kinds of lock in my chain. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one lock and take the other end of the other chain this one and then put this together and lock it like this. Now let me secure this. All right, now it's secured. Now I'm gonna take the other end and connect the other chain from the other side as well. Here it is. Okay, now you get this big long chain with two chains. So I'm wearing this long chain. Check this out, how long this is now. I'm planning to buy like a small stud right here and then I can keep this chain this long as well because this doesn't look nice when you wear it like this. Now what you need to do is cross it and then wear your chain again. Take your hair out, all right. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull my beaded chain out and I'm going to take these locks at the side of my neck. All right. See? So now my beaded chain length is increased and the other chain is just snugged to my neck. This is how I wear my two chains together, guys. And if I want my beaded chain to snug to my neck, I will just pull the other chain back. Now, this one is snug to my neck and I can just wear a cute pendant. So this is how I keep on playing with my chains and now you know it too, how I do it. These were my gold chain and my gold pendant collection so far. And if I add more to my collection in future, I will definitely share it with you guys. But before I go, I wanted to show you the earrings that I added recently to my earrings collection. Let me show you, I'm wearing it. Alrighty. So this top is the new earring that I added to my earrings collection. Check this out. So this one, I got it from Kerala and it just perfectly matches my Sui Dhaga and with my beaded chain. And see this dangling that's hanging? It looks like I have a fourth piercing done because it just stands right here. It looks absolutely beautiful, isn't it? And this is how it looks from the back. It's just perfectly secured. This is how it looks on the other side. And guess how much I paid for this one. 
I got it from Kerala and I only paid 6,000 rupees for this one. I couldn't believe when uh, the person told me the rate. It's so lightweight, it's not that heavy, it's less than one gram gold. In North India, you cannot get anything at this price. I'm serious guys, I love buying gold pieces but it's really difficult, especially in North side, to get something lightweight. They have designs that will weigh more than two grams and the price of gold is increasing day by day. So when I went to India this year, I visited Kerala. I went to this gold shop. They had such beautiful designs. Oh my God, next time, whenever I go there, I will for sure go there just to buy my gold jewelry because they had such traditional pieces with such light weight. You cannot get that in North India. It's very difficult. I have been to different stores, like my mother-in-law have been to many stores, my mother as well. We couldn't find anything like that. I didn't want it to spend a lot, so I just wanted something very small for myself. So this was the one that I saw and I absolutely loved it the moment I saw it. I I entered the shop and this was the first thing that I noticed. I was like, oh my God, I want this. I want to see that one. And then when they told the price, I was shocked. I was like, okay, I'm definitely getting this one. And we also got it from my sister-in-law as well. And she also loved it. I have few clips from the gold shop in Kerala. Let me know if you guys are interested to see it. I will put it in my channel for sure if you guys want to see it. So put it in the comments. But anyway, if you guys get to go to South India, definitely check out the gold shops. You will love the gold pieces over there. I just loved the gold color as well. It was so beautiful. It's not like typical yellow color, but very traditional. Very subtle gold. Loved it. So this was it guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And before I end this video, I would highly encourage and recommend to people who are new in investing gold jewelry that buy the pieces that you really, really like because it's obviously an investment, but at the same time, this is a chance where you can enjoy wearing your own investment. So think about it, just invest in those pieces that you will enjoy in your day-to-day -day life. I personally love in investing small pieces because then I get to wear them every day. The only downside of collecting small gold jewelry pieces are that you have to be really cautious and careful every time you're wearing it, every time you're not wearing it, you have to keep it very safely. Also, you cannot take such pieces when you're traveling. So whenever I go to different places, I, I do not carry my small pieces. I would only wear one or two and I will keep that on during my entire trip. So yeah, this is the only downside that I see when you invest in small uh, little gold item you have the risk of losing them it can get stolen very easily so you have to be careful all the time i know this risk but i still love to collect these small cute items guys because i just enjoy wearing them in my day-to-day -day life so if you like today's video guys please do not forget to hit the like button you can comment down below which was your favorite chain and your favorite pendant would you like to have a similar one as well if you did please comment that too i would love to read your comment and if you're new to my channel please do consider subscribing it would really motivate me thank you so much bye bye love you all oh also you can follow me on instagram my instagram handle is right here and if you know Hindi, you can also follow me on my vlogging channel where me and my husband upload one single video every day. The channel name is right here. Bye!